So I'm going to start off this video by just giving a basic summary of the Eternal Eye fan club for all the new people. But I'm, later I'm going to get into some health news. Um, but here, I'm just going to say, for all you new people, a lot of you guys have been asking, like, what is this all about? I'm confused. Why do you want to live forever? It's weird to them. They don't understand why someone, why a group of people would care so much about living forever. I'm just going to tell you guys, all you new people, we want to live forever. I mean, I can only speak for myself, but I think many Eternal Life fans agree when I say we want to live forever just because we love life. We're excited about life. We love discovering new things. We enjoy our passions, our hobbies. And we realize that if we die, there might be no afterlife. So we want to preserve our physical bodies. I must keep in good health and not die. You know, because, like I said, we love being alive. That's, in a nutshell, I think that sums up why many Eternal Life fans are so serious about their eternal life. That people will do anything to survive. I just want to live. But I'm going to get into the health news. So one important thing I want to say right off the bat is that a lot of scientists are theorizing that another pandemic, a viral pandemic, could be on the way. So this is a big risk to all Eternal Life fans. So we need to do everything in our power to prepare for this possibility, this worst case scenario that could be around the corner. So I recommend to all Eternal Life fans to stock up on antiviral herbs and immune boosting herbs, immune boosting supplements, whatever you can, whatever you've researched that you think is going to help your immune system fight off viruses and bacterial infections and just keep your immune system in tip top shape. Just think about how many people are dead because they did not prepare for a viral pandemic outbreak. They're gone. Mother Nature is a serial killer. No one's better. One thing you can do if you're poor and cannot afford a lot of these supplements is you could just buy a lot of garlic. And you can soak your garlic in apple cider vinegar. And this will preserve it. And you can have humongous jars, pickle jars, filled with garlic soaked in apple cider vinegar. Another supplement, um, an herbal supplement I recommend, is chaga mushroom. This is supposed to be one of the most powerful immune-boosting substances in the world. So that's one to look into. And also is peo di arco. This herb is supposed to be extremely antiviral, so it would probably be good to have in your arsenal. Um, Eternal Life fans, we have to adapt to the dangers that are coming. Uh, the world is changing, and we have to evolve our strategy as the world changes and as we face new dangers. So continue to evolve and adapt or die. What else? Adapt or die. The next thing I want to mention is the Fukushima radiation is still spilling into the ocean, and there is a concern about the radiation that is getting into fish. Fish are find they're finding toxic levels of radiation in fish. So I am a fish lover. I love salmon. That's one of my favorite foods. And so, but you know what? Eternal life is more important than salmon. So I'm giving it up. I recommend all Eternal Life fans to give up their fish. You can still get your fish oils in supplements and in safer foods like eggs. Egg. Such a gross-sounding word, isn't it? There is the same sort of long-chain fats that are in fish are in egg yolks. So keep that in mind. You don't actually need the fish. And if you're concerned that you've already um, exposed yourself to toxic levels of radiation, you can take a supplement called chlorella. This is seaweed, and um, it absorbs radiation from your body. So, And if you are going to eat fish which I don't recommend, but if you do, I would recommend you eat it with chlorella tablets at the same time. This will absorb a lot of the radiation in the fish. So the next point I want to get to is I cr created a new Facebook page and a whole new branch of the Eternal Life fan club. 
It's sort of its own thing, but it's it's related to the Eternal Life fan club. The Eternal Life fan club nature branch. I'm um, trying to inspire people to get more excited about living forever just by showing them the beauty of nature. Nature is one of the things that inspires me. And I encourage whatever your passion is, whatever inspires you, use it for eternal life. Use any talent you can to promote the message of eternal life and get people inspired about life, being alive. If we can just get people excited about life, then we can help them be more excited about the possibility, the opportunity to live forever. So that's another thing. And um, I've received a lot of questions. I've been getting a lot of questions, a lot of new people following the Eternal Life Fan Club. Um, so I did create a question and answer video, but I'll put that in a separate video. The link's right here. I'm just going to finish with one idea I want to leave you with, is that you have to always remember, you have to love yourself. You're a special person, and you have to treat your eternal life like it's a special thing. Don't risk it for anything. A lot of people have been saying, like, I'm too extreme. I'm like, I'm too extreme about eternal life or something. That's ridiculous. Because you cannot be too extreme about living forever. Eternal life is the most important thing because without life, we have nothing. So eternal life should be your number one goal. And you cannot be too extreme about living forever. So I'm just going to leave you with that thought. And thank you for watching. Goodbye, eternal life fans.